were uh, aping the Sex Pistols, then the lineup had to be the same as the Sex Pistols. So I was told by Barney to go and get a bass guitar. The problem I had was when I found the shop, that I didn't know what a bass guitar was. I didn't know the difference between a bass guitar and the guitar. And it was the guy in the shop that told me. He showed me a bass guitar and I said, right, I'll have that then. And he said, do you want a case? And I didn't have any more money, so he put it in a black bin liner for me to take on the bus home, which was quite apt. But from that moment on, uh, I was a bass guitarist. Yamaha came along quite quickly, and it was the BB600. And it was the best guitar I'd ever played. Love Will Tears Apart was written on the, on the Yamaha. <laughs> Seems weird now to think. Uh, that song was written in um, one and a half hours. We wrote the music and then Ian went home and did some lyrics and came back. We finished it off in another hour and a half. So yeah, it was written on the and played on the BB600. It's very difficult to analyse and decide whether it's luck or whether it's just in you. You know, it wasn't about technique uh, and it wasn't about proficiency. It was just about doing it. Uh, and I used to play high because it would cut through and I could hear it while we were practising. It was Ian Curtis in Joy Division that spotted that I played high, and when I played high, it was different. And he encouraged me to do it more and more. You know, I'd never been taught what a bass guitar was supposed to do, so I wanted the bass guitar to do what I wanted it to do, not what everybody else um, said. I mean, if you look at a song like Transmission, which is one of our most popular songs, the bass only plays. <laughs> through the song and he only does about five fills so it's a very very simple bass line but it started with the bass line it drove the song it inspired Ian inspired Steve it inspired Barney the interesting thing is what is once that you um, mature as a musician you're time you're kind of thinking well I should change that it should be you know, try and get it, add something more to it because it's too simple. Uh, and it's usually always the wrong way of looking at it. You know, generally simple is much better than anything else. All our gear was stolen in America and we went to where everybody used to go if you were in New York and you wanted equipment, which was Manny's. And the only base they had in was a BB-1200, which was that one there. Yeah and I bought that to fill in and it had two pickups so I thought well this is good but it was a much better guitar than the 600 because it had a straight through neck so the straight through neck gives it so much strength and so much sustain a different guitar again it was much better we got through America came back to England we were getting ready to go in and record um, New Order's first LP and I went to A1 Music and they had the new Yamaha which was this one and it was completely different to that one it had the strength of the neck and it had lost the pickup but it had gained the active frequencies now as soon as I tried it how balanced the whole thing was the guitar and how with the subtle use of distortion the way I used it the guitar would sing <laughs> 
uh, and it sang dead easy. You know, I mean, the thing is, is that I used to spend all my time making the 600 and the 1200 sing. <laughs> That's a technical term. How I wanted it to do. And you, you were always doing it with the amp and with distortion, but with this guitar, the 1200S, it was just all of a sudden, it was really easy to do. And it just sounded absolutely fantastic. I have used this 1200S for 40 years. Considering how early it was, it must have been the winter of 1980 that I bought it. And literally, I have used it on every record that I've played a four string bass on, but nothing has ever been able to tech this guitar's crown. So yeah, I mean, it's a hell of a story for one guitar. It's a great compliment as a musician, you know, to be able to work with a company that has been vital to my career, you know, without Yamaha and without what they gave me. However, you know, you want to look at the process. Uh, they did help me get my sound, perfect my sound. <laughs>